hey, here's another little tip on Rust and VS Code. So when you are using a Rust plugin like Rust Analyzer or the Rust plugin, you have what is called semantic highlighting, which is here, for example, we see this little underline below the variable name and the push string, and this is because they are mutable. So for example, if we remove the mute here, that will remove the underline. And this is very cool, but I'm not a big fan of the underline because it looks like they are clickable. And when I code, I like to type, I don't like to click. So the way that I've customized that is super easy. You can do a command comma to go to the settings. Then you click on the icon to get to the JSON file. And then you add this block here. And you have a pretty good blog post here from Dan Romans as well that explains that more. And so the keyword here is a semantic token color customizations of VS Code. And then you have your rules. And so in my case here, I just style both the variables and the method the same way. And so here I'm going to uncomment uh, these two lines here, press save and go back to the hello. And then I have the light purple for everything which is mutable. And that's it for this quick tip. If you want to see more Rust tips, feel free to follow the channel. And I also started a Rust course by the book. Feel free to follow this playlist as well. Until next time, happy coding.